So could we see a wider war in the Middle East? Former U.S. CENTCOM Commander General Joseph Votel joins me now. General, great to see you. Thank you for being here. It sure looks like Israel is trying to preempt a Hezbollah attack or invasion into Israel. Do you think they'll succeed? Well, they're, they're, first of all, it's great to be with you, David. Thank you. I, I think they're doing a lot of the right things right now. They're clearly trying to exploit the disarray that's been sown into Hezbollah by virtue of these attacks over the last uh, week or so. And I think what uh, I think what Israel's strategy is here is to, uh, again, force Hezbollah to come to the table and avoid another war of attrition on their northern front. They have a goal. They want to get people back into their homes. And so they've got to figure out a way to do that. And one of the ways they're doing that is through this extraordinary military pressure of applying all kinds of different tools, sabotage, strikes against launchers, and then, of course, strikes against key leaders that are all adding up to have a fairly devastating effect on uh, on uh, Hezbollah right now. By the way, this these pager bombs are, are just extraordinary. Had, had you ever seen anything like it at all in modern warfare? Well, I, again, I, I won't talk too much about this. I mean, we have we have special operations capabilities. Certainly the Israelis do. And and, uh, you know, we 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 develop these types of unique capabilities to give our give our decision makers lots of options. Clearly, uh, the Israelis uh, have refined that and and we're able to do this at a, at a large scale here. Now, you say it was successful. Obviously, it, it did uh, have a chilling effect on on the Hezbollah terrorists and, and perhaps Iran, their paymasters. But. Uh, there are certain U.S. Poli I know I'm not going to put you in the political crossfire here, but yeah, Bernie Sanders saying that uh, we should cancel a, a $20 billion uh, contract to, to sell arms to Israel because of it. AOC's uh, saying that it was deficit. And there were innocents that were killed in these explosions, apparently, as well, or at least severely injured. Uh, what do you make of all that? I mean, of the fact that, that some people are saying that is evidence that we should withdraw some of our support for Israel. Yeah, uh, well, as you pointed out just a few moments ago here, uh, Ibrahim McKeel is responsible for a couple hundred American deaths. When you combine that with uh, the death of Fouad Shakur, who was killed about a month ago, this is over 300 American citizens who were killed on their orders. Uh, and so this is Hezbollah. They're a designated terrorist organization, and, and uh, Israel has to have the means to go after them. They're designated by us as well. Well, they're... as I look at the very as I look at the various techniques they're using here, I mean, I think they are, are they are attempting to apply the principles of military targeting, distinction, proportionality, military necessity. For certain, I think are all in this. Uh, again, none of this is perfect, and it's tragic that there's any in innocent uh, civilian lives. Uh, taken in this. But uh, again, this is a very, very difficult situation. I think withholding uh, support to Israel is, is probably not the right approach at this particular point. And by the way, Hezbollah, it's not just the United States outside of the Middle East that has suffered. Uh, Argentina had a devastating attack on a Jewish facility years ago. It's, I mean, they are, yeah. they are an international terrorist organization. That's, but of course, right. their money comes from Iran. Their support comes from Iran. One of the people who, who had the pager blow up was apparently the ambassador uh, to Lebanon from Iran. So uh, the, we had, under the previous administration, a maximum pressure uh, campaign against Iran that essentially economically brought them to their knees. Now they that was that was removed by the Biden Harris administration. Should we put that back on? Was that an effective way of keeping Iran at bay? Well, I, I think you're hitting on, on the most important point here, and that is behind all of this is Iran. And we have to have a strategy that holds Iran accountable and uh, causes them to change behavior across the region. And I think we have to leverage all all the tools that are available, whether it's economic tools, whether it's diplomatic tools, whether it's informational tools, or whether it's military tools, to hold Iran accountable and and uh, and bring them to heel on this uh, on this situation. I, it all comes back to Iran. Yeah. General Votel, you make a lot of sense. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of common sense inside the Bellway these days, so we'll see what happens. But thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, David. Good Appreciate to be with it. you.